In this Go Copy review, I'm going to be digging in to the copywriting tool called Go Copy. This tool is supposed to help you when it comes to writing any sort of sales copy, blog posts, and whilst doing that, it uses the best high converting marketing templates to encourage conversions. Now, before we dive into the back end of Go Copy and you watch me create a blog post live, let me give you a little bit more information. Go Copy is an AI power content platform that delivers high converting marketing content in seconds using proven marketing copy templates. With GoCopy, you would simply choose a writing task and get access to a proven marketing copy templates for every type of content you can dream up. In addition to using the templates to write social media posts, digital ads, blog content, and website copy, you can also use GoCopy to rewrite, summarize, and simplify text. I will go ahead and leave two links in the description. The first link will take you to AppSumo to grab the lifetime deal and the second link will send you to the official website which will also activate the discount. I'll let you have a look at both links to decide which plan is best for you. And one last thing, if you could tap the like button of this video it would really help me out and if you have any questions regarding GoCopy go ahead and drop them below. Now it's time to go ahead and write a blog post. As always, I love simple interfaces. On the left, you will see you have five options. You have home, settings, affiliates, help and support, and then the sign out option. Then at the top, you have a drop down option, which when click will allow you to create a new folder and a new document. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new folder and we're going to enter the dog niche. So we're going to go into dog training and now any articles I create about dog training are gonna go in here. Now I'm gonna click on the folder and then do create and new document again. And this time we're gonna say how to train a dog and we are gonna select the dog training folder and do a document. Now we're in the interface and they've done a really clean job of this design. So on the right, you have quite a few options here. You have the shortcuts, which we will get to shortly. You then have the Shakespeare AI, which will, will automatically carry on writing for you. Then you've got like samples, which is all of the content generated that you have marked as liked. Then you have history, which will show all the history content. Then you've got version history, editor settings. So when click, this will allow you to generate X amount of content, keep it at three, and then you can actually export your files in Markdown, HTML, or Word document. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is select use case. And here you have all the different options, e-com, social media, ads, blogging, website content, and email. We're creating a blog post today. So let's go ahead and do blog content. And the first thing we want to do is create a blog outline. So we're gonna go ahead and click blog outline, select task, and in here, we are gonna tell the AI what we want to write about. So how to train a dog to sit. And then we're gonna do generate. Now you can see you have all of these options and my camera's in the way. So what it's done is it's created sections so we know what's meant to be a section and then a takeaway so it can uh, kind of like a conclusion for what we want our audience to take away from these comments. And then under each generator sample, you've got a few options as well. So this option here will paste the text at the bottom of the content in the editor. So if we click it, you can see that's now in the editor. This option will paste the text where your cursor is. So for example, let's put my cursor here. And now if I click this, it's added it there. Then this will generate similar ideas to this one. This is like, so now it's in the like section here. And this is just a quick way to copy into your clipboard and then you can just do paste and there you have it. So I actually like this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the bottom one in. Now I'm just going to clean it up once you've cleaned up the text like so, then you wanna go ahead and click the replace current use case here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on the instruct option. And now I'm going to tell the AI to write some more content for me. So, so I'm going to focus on this section here. So we're gonna type in the best supplies for teaching the dog to sit. And then I'm just going to generate. Okay, and it's generated this. So not all of them are feasible. I'm gonna put my cursor here and then click paste cursor there. And then I'm going to do generate similar ideas to this one. So I'm not really getting the best results from this. Perhaps I'm not in the right area. So I'm going to click current use case study and I'm going to go to listicle. Type in what are the best supplies for teaching 
a dog to sit and then I'm going to do generate and actually this is much better results now so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste that in and then I kind of want a little intro for just before this listicle so I'm going to take this copy go to use case study go to blog content and then blog intro select task and then under blog post title I'm going to do getting the right supplies for teaching a dog to sit and then Generate. And I was much happier with that and now I've added it in here and I've also added some hashtags here just so this is actually a title. Now another cool thing you can do with this with GoCopy is you can highlight this and you can do expand. So I'm going to click the expand button and on the right it's generating content and I like this one so I'm going to copy this and then paste it in like so. Next let's go to step by step training guide and again we're going to go to replace current use. And we're going to go back to the listicle option and do select task. Then I'm going to type in four steps to train a dog to sit and then do generate. And I actually like both of these. So I'm going to incorporate them both. So I'm going to copy that. I'm also going to copy this as well. Go back to use case, go to blog content, blog intro, and we want to create another intro. I'm going to copy this and we're going to paste it in. And if we highlight it, we can actually rewrite it. So let's click the rewrite button and I quite like this one. So we're actually going to replace that with this. And we need to remember that these sort of tools are meant to assist you with writing. Good rule of thumb is 80, 20, 80% 80 of the work is done by the, is done by the AI tool. And the 20% is done by you tweaking and modifying. So I'm just going to write a quick line here saying always remember to let's move on to FAQ now. We're going to go to replace current use. We're going to create a listicle. Then we're going to do what are common questions about training a dog to sit. And you can see here's some good ones. I'm going to copy this, paste them in. I'm going to tweak it. And now we're going to generate answers for each one. So I'm just going to take the question to use case. And we're going to go back to instruct, select task, paste it in and then generate. And then there's a section here which I quite like. So we're going to just paste this in and now I'm going to do this for each one of these questions. And now we've done that, we're going to go ahead and add a conclusion. we we'll replace current use code study. Then we're going to go to summarizer, select task. We're going to copy the intro, paste it in here and do generate. We're going to grab this and paste it in. And I'm just going to change a few words in this. So there we have it. We created a blog post and we went through a whole bunch of features. Use every single one of those features will make this review video way too long. However, however, there are a few things we need to understand about GoCopy. The first thing is it's a brand new product. So they're still working out all the kinks and they're fine tuning everything. So I have no doubt in the space of a month or two from this video, it's going to be almost a entirely enhanced product to where it is right now. Right now, I don't think the text that's generated is the best out there just yet. I definitely think there's other tools that you can find on my channel that outperform Go copy that outperform Go copy right now, but the pricing for Go copy is incredibly competitive, and usually when you get in early you keep those fees all the way down the line. So if you believe in this product, it might be worth getting a subscription just so you kind of plan ahead and save money down the line because it's quite clear they're going to be enhancing this and improving this over the next couple of days, weeks and months. If you have any questions whatsoever about GoCopy, go ahead and drop them below. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.